my name is Manuel Vargas, I am the general manager of Group of Colors. I have invited to Hazel Consulting Group because I want them to explain to the new oper operation manager, Juan Marenco, about the capacity of the warehouse processes to improve it. First of all, I'm going to explain about what uh, my company do. Uh, we import and distribute uh, op op ophthalmic equipment and ophthalmic frames, but we are going to focus in ophthalmic frames. In ophthalmic frames, there are two lines. The design brands, uh, like Benetton, Crocs, Igor, ProDesign, Denmark, and Perialis, and non-design mark, that is the line economic, and that is imported from Panama. Uh, uh, we distribute in optics and chains uh, located in main cities of Bogota and of Colombia. Uh, to understand more of this, I'm going to present uh, the actual operation manager, uh, Santiago Otero. Uh, hi, my name is Santiago. Uh, so I am the personal manager, uh, and in this case of the orders, there are three steps, the portfolio, the warehouse enlistment, and the dispatch. So the first one consists in a strict process in which uh, the company checks the clients, and if they, uh, they pass like the uh, like type of exam that we have. Uh, we see if they are a new client or an old client, if they are a new client, we ask for uh, documents and references, in the other case, if they are old, we check if they have any portfolio. If they have any portfolio, we we arrange a payment agreement. And if not, uh, if they don't have a portfolio, we pass to directly to the enlistment. Uh, now, uh, to the warehouse in, in enlistment, we have five different steps. Five different steps that are first the checking inventory in the system that is. Uh, see if the way we have the amount of frames that the clients re uh, require. If not, we ask to the representatives around the country that they, they return the, the samples that they have uh, for completing the order. Second is preparing the order for each client. Second, uh, third is sending the package for each order. Third, uh, fourth is registering the purchase in which uh, uh, we actualize the system according to the sales. And for last is the schedule the delivery uh, that is made uh, at the end of the day. Uh, to the different clients. And uh, now I will present Maria Paula, one of the consultants. Hello, I am Maria Paula Borges and I am part of the Hazer Consulting Group. Today I'm going to explain the average capacity analysis per day and per two days. Uh, why two days? Because for the policies of the company, that's the maximum due date to ship an order. Uh, so since it enters into the warehouse. We have to take into account that they work 10 hours a day, five times per week, from Monday to Friday. That gives us a total of 20 hours maximum to dispatch an order. For the first process, um, they have seven orders that enter into the company system. And they last two hours uh, in average in one day. So in two days, it is four hours. Inside the warehouse, uh, the workers uh, just prepare two orders in one day, and they last five hours uh, in average, so in two days it is uh, 10 hours in average. Uh, when the box or boxes of an order are ready to be sealed, the, in one day they seal in average seven orders in one day, so that is uh, 15 minutes that they last doing this process, and in two days in average 1.7 hours. Uh, then all these seven orders pass to the next process in order to be checked uh, as a purchase, a successful purchase. So they last two hours doing this process for the whole seven orders in average, and four hours for two days. And finally, uh, in the last process, the order are uh, ready to be sent, to be uh, shipped. Uh, so they last 10 minutes in this process, in one day in average, and for two days it is 0 0.33 hours. So in terms of hours, we can see that the bottleneck is the second process because in terms of hours is the, is the process uh, that is more large than the others. 
Well, hi, I am Paula. So I belong also to the consulting group. Now I'm going to tell you about the weekly capacity. Taking into account that these numbers are real numbers that the company has already provided us to make this analysis. In the last week of February, they received 23 orders, but when they started preparing them, they just set six of them. Even if the other processes have the same capacity of the first one that was 23, like this is the bottleneck, as Maria Paula has already told you. It also means that it's gonna be the capacity of the whole process. At the end of the week, they will only leave, uh, they will only send six of those orders. To take into account, in terms of the company, it means that we can only ask to the operators into the warehouse to set six orders per week, each week. Uh, for one to understand this in a better way, we have already also asked to the company for the forecasting in March, taking into account that this week is going to be the zero week. So the forecasting in week one, two, three, and four is 15, 17, 15, and 20, respectively. In this case, we may find out the MPS, nice an inventory game for one to find out which are the real problems and how he is going to solve them. The initial inventory is gonna be the orders that were not sent in the week zero that was the one I have already explained to you. And we're gonna have a we are gonna be receiving an order that is an order to set of six orders and we're gonna do it uh, in every week and the demand that is gonna be fifteen as, as I told you. As we know the final inventory we can get it by initial inventory plus the order that we receive minus the demand. In this case, we may find out that the, since the week two, we have negative values. What does it mean? It means basically that the most of the order will be delayed and they are not going to be able to achieve the main goal that should be to set the final inventory in zero. And if the, they do not solve it as soon, they are gonna have really bad problems. Hello, my name is Juanita. Well, is there any waste? Um, as Group of Colors is a distribution company, they don't have a waste. But from our point of view, we consider that waste as the frames that couldn't be sold in the specific on time. So after a while, those frames must be sold cheaper, and a Group of Colors has to make marketing investment in advertising and promotion. And those frames that couldn't be sold again uh, should set for free in a future extra order. So now, with the information that we uh, recollect, we have concluded some opportunities and strengths. First, for opportunities, they, uh, they could avoid waste in group of colors, look for specific stores that sell individual frames for people who are following uh, old fashioned models or last season frames. And at the time they don't have enough units at the storage, they should plan the two month forecasting with an, um, an extra amount of units so they don't have to call the representatives and they could and they are able to answer the weekly demand. Now for a strength, uh, the warehouse is in the company's building. The policy of the due date uh, make warehouse team work as fast as possible. Uh, workers can check in real time how many frames are left in the, in the inventory and um, this, this is an advantage because uh, they don't have to spend a lot of time looking frame by frame, but they can see if the representative have the frames they need to complete the order. Um, also, they always try to provision their warehouses with all the materials they need to for packaging the order. Um, and after having the orders ready, they only need to they only need to ask one time each two days to to the delivery service. And well, that's it. Uh, Juan, we want to thank you for your time, and we hope you understand everything.